Um, I'm gonna speak on this one last time. It's my final time speaking on this. CB Kennel family, we are taking Lala to get her. What is her second or third? This is her third. This is her third PG test. So, um, you guys, you guys know when I first got Lala, she was flagging real hard. But surprisingly, when I took her the next day to get her progesterone test, she was only at a 1.02. 1 Give me a five. Give me a five, Lala. 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 <laughs> Give me a five, Lala. Lala, give me a five. Man, listen, me and this girl done got so attached. She love me now, man. Give me a five, Lala. High five, Lala. Lala, give me a five. Yeah, give me a five, Lala. Give me a five, Lala. Yeah, give me a five, Lala. Give me a five. Yeah. So, all right, back to business. Sorry, so you guys, so, um, her first one was a 1.08, a 1.03 or 2, I don't really remember. Um, then I took her five days later. So I took her when I first got her. I got her on like a Saturday. No, I got her on a Friday. So I took her on that Saturday to get the progesterone 1.02. Then I took her again. He said, come back in five days. So I came back. Again, you guys know how these females are. These cycles are tricky. So you got to make sure you're on point with them. So I took her back. When did I take her back? I took her back. following me i took her back that next friday um and so that's what the last one i just did let me see let me make sure i'm not confusing myself yeah yeah, yeah. see i'm sorry you guys i'm taking her for her th i don't know if I, did i say that i don't know but i'm taking her for her third protest room because the second one which was on that for which is friday which is two days ago she was at a 4.88 and you guys know i will if you guys don't know i'm gonna let you guys know and i'm gonna inform you guys when they get to a five is when they start to ovulate. So what you want to do when they hit that five level is you want to wait 48 hours after that to start your AIs. But before, me personally, before I start my AIs, if I'm doing an AI, what I do is I get another progesterone test two days later just to be sure she's at the number I need her at. Um, I was a little confused. George just told me, I thought we were supposed to do AIs at like a seven or eight, but you want to start realistically doing AIs at about 11, no, no, about a, about a 13, to, no, about a 12 to like a 17, you want to start doing AIs from about 11 to a 17 is the perfect range to start doing AIs. And you guys know surgicals are, are later numbers. I'm talking about surgicals, you want to start like 27, late numbers, 25 through 30, 35. So 25 to 30 is when you want to start, 25 to 35 is when you want to start your surgicals. Uh, but between a, a 11 to like a 17, that's perfect to AIs. TCIs, you can start those a little bit after. I mean, it don't really matter. You can do a TCI around the same time frame as an AI because it's the same thing. The only difference is they're going in you with a camera. So that's the only difference than a TCI and an AI. And an AI stands for artificial insemination. Um, so, uh, but you guys know, I'm, I'm, I'm a surgical man. You guys know me. Um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Also, by the way, Doja Cat is starting to look very promising. Her nipples are starting to get better. You know, she's starting to get more filled. Uh, you guys know I did the last ultrasound at 30 days. That's what I normally do. Them. But she's a smaller dog. She's a very small dog. So I got another one scheduled for it in two days to get another one. And that's just hope, you know. That's hope for the best. And that's crazy because I got the signs of her being pregnant. But that's hope for the best, you guys. I got to stop and get some gas, man. The gas is right now. Gas is hot right now, y'all. I'm talking about... Gas four dollars right now. Gas is four dollars and three cents. The economy is rising, you know, and things are getting hard for everybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say one race or one person. Things are getting hard for everybody. So we gotta come together as a whole and come together as one, and we gotta help each other. You know what I'm saying? Any form, shape, necessary way possible, because if we become a unity, we're gonna succeed. Individually, we're gonna fall. You guys always remember that. But um, let me go ahead. I got to put some gas in the whip. And I got to go back to George. That hey girl, Lala. Give me a five, Lala. Give me a five, Lala. Lala, give me a five. Lala, give me a five. 
Hold on, wait. There we go. Give me a five, la. I've been working with her on this, y'all. Watch this. La, la, give me a five. Good girl. Yo, somebody, oh, I missed it real quick. I'm not trying to talk too much in this video. Somebody asked me what's the difference between tick and Merle. So as you guys can see her color pattern, she got black ticks everywhere. Merle is more of like a mixed color. It's like mixed in color. But this is not mixed in. She definitely have tick marks everywhere. Just so you guys know. Make sure y'all watch the video to the end because this video is going to be very formidable when it comes to getting your dog pregnant, want to do TCIs, want to do AIs, all that good stuff, all of above. So just make sure you guys watch the video to the end because, again, you guys know I'm going to help y'all get your dog pregnant. I specialize in getting dogs pregnant. So it's going to help y'all. But I'm going to catch y'all in the next time. I love y'all, man. Y'all make sure I leave a thumbs up in the comment. Give me a second. We just arrived at my man's house to get this PG test, you guys. I am excited, man. I'm excited because uh, I get my new female this week. No, no, no. I get my new female next. I get my new female soon. I don't know if it's this week, next week. It's one of those weeks. And we are so much closer to our goal at CB Kennels. We're so much closer. We're so much closer, and I'm excited for this. And this girl right here is going to do something special for the camp. I got to go ahead and get out. Let me go ahead and get out, actually. And um, hold on, girl. Give me one second. Give me one second, Lala. Give me one second, girl. Man, I'm excited, man. Come on, Lala. Let's get it. Come on, Lala. Let's get it. Come on, let's go. Come on, girl. Look at my man, George, y'all. Y'all bet, hey, man, it's the progesterone man right here, man. He gonna get... He gonna get whatever dog you got pregnant. You got a Yorkie, a Frenchie, and you got a Boston Terrier, and you got the, <laughs> he gonna get it pregnant for you, y'all. Uh, hold on, let me go ahead and get the pizza test, y'all. I'm catch all of you. All right, family, so I just got back to the house from getting the La La Her PG test. She was at a uh, 11, she's at 11, 11.4, something like that. But I had to stop at the store and get these girls right here. Come on, girl. I had to stop at the store and give these girls some covers. But I want to show y'all something real quick before I finish. Actually, let me just show y'all real quick. So you remember I was telling y'all earlier in this video how she's coming and how she's starting to get more filled out? I don't know if y'all can see it in that, but like, it's, don't look at this. These are her rib cages. So these from here, these are rib cages. So don't look here. You want to look here. She's starting to get more filled out here and her nipples are starting to get more, you see what I'm saying? So, but it's all good because we have her coming back. We have her coming back. Um, got a call from one of my customers. I'll give him a call back soon in another video. But we have her coming back in a few days to get that test done, but things still might be good with her. Things are definitely still might be good with her. Let me let her go to the bathroom real quick, y'all. Come on, girl, let's go. Today's video, man, it's hot outside. Today is hot outside, so this is what I'm about to do. After I'm done with these girls inside, I'm about to go ahead and go outside. I'm gonna let the bulls outside. I'm gonna go ahead and put some water in the pool, bring the pool on this side of the gate, and let them play together and get in some water, because it's hot outside. And you guys know I'm in Florida right now, it's about 90 degrees in Florida. So I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get them some ice water in their kennels, give them all ice water and let them go outside and get us water, you know, cool down a little bit. Also, you guys, people have been saying, oh, why do I have the pit bull in the back? Um, I'm gonna speak on this one last time. It's my final time speaking on this. The pit bulls in the back with one of the dogs. The pit bull is not a playful dog. The pit bulls job, the pit bulls, everything is to be a, how I want to put it. It's for her to be a perimeter secured dog. And what I mean by that is for her to be kind of like a service dog. We want her to be not vicious. I would never say vicious because I don't want any of my dogs to be vicious. So I don't want her to be vicious, but I want her to be protective. So 
with that being said, there's necessary steps to take when you're trying to make a dog be protective. And having a dog around the, key, the other dogs and having them play a lot is not one of the ways to make her protective. But I would never say vicious. I don't condone that vicious dogs. Because dogs are, you know, family or family or anti family, hold on, family or or y'all get what I'm trying to say. Family or air oriented animals. There you go, there you go. My fault, y'all. I got it. See y'all give me time to figure it out. Give me a second, y'all. So come on, Abigail. Come on, Abigail. Come on, Abigail. Any other day you want to run out. But no. Go. Come. Go. Go. Come on. Come on, Abigail. Come on. Here you go. There you go. They got the thing. Come on, Abigail. Come on. Give me a second, y'all. Let me go out here with her. I come back. All right, y'all. So one of my customers just called. Um, he didn't even buy a dog for me, but he locked in on my studs. So I just want to let you guys hear the conversation of what we're talking about. I'm not, I'm not going more in, in, a lot into depth. But I just want you guys to have an understanding of how I treat my customers. Yeah, bro. So like I was saying, bro, um, I don't. I wouldn't listen to what everybody say about wait nine days, wait seven days, and then breed after that. Because, like I said, every female is different. So that's what I would do if I was personally in your shoes. The, the fact that you have other studs in your yard that's a great thing because your studs are going to let you know everything. You know what I'm saying? So what I would do is just let your studs like if you have. I don't know how you got the setup, but let your stud be in a cage like not too far from her. And at first, they're gonna want to. They're gonna sniff on her. They're gonna be trying to get to her. But they're not going to try to really get to her unless she's ready. And her body is going to let them know. And the smell she's going to give off out of her vagina is going to let them know she's ready. And that's when she's going to be receptive of them and let them have sex with her. You get what I'm saying? Bro, you good. You got pop, bro. You got pop, bro. You... Bro, you got bro, you got pockets, bro. You you don't know none of that shit, bro. You got pockets, you don't know none of that shit. It, that's different when you get into the micros. You got pockets, you don't know none of that none of that shit. That's only for like micros, Frenchies, bulldogs, shit like that. You got pockets, so you're good. You don't know that extra shit, bro. So let them do their thing. But the only thing I would get tell you, bro, is I would definitely personally, I would definitely be looking into getting a C section. I wouldn't be looking into letting her have a natural birth. That's just me personally. But other than that, bro, you don't need nothing like colostrum. That that's that's just like a booster for micros, cause in a micro game, it's a lot harder to keep puppies alive in a micro game. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, other than that, bro, you good. You don't, for pockets, bro. You don't, when I had pockets, bro, when I had my pocket little with Draco, like when his mom I had mom, I ain't none of that shit. But you good. The pockets, bro, they they not they not as complicated as micros. So you good when it comes to that. Uh, I, I haven't did it yet. We don't do that. Yeah, Draco, he's small, bro. I know he looked big on the videos, but he's pretty small. He's more likely probably smaller than your female, so I doubt it. He's small, bro. So you just gonna knock down the door? See, the thing about it is crazy. Every female, every so Draco had a lot of Draco had a lot of. Uh, a lot of breeders for the last week, you know, have like four or five of them, six of them. So they can buy it every female he's came in contact with is bigger than him, bro. People think Draco's big. He's small in real life, but he's super small. So that's the thing about it, like, he can't tie that. He, he wasn't able to tie that with him because he was so small. You get what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I definitely, we definitely tried it. But again, like I said, you know, who got the time to be sitting out there for an hour, you know, letting your dogs get overheated, they be trying to let them have sex, but you can just go ahead and knock them out with the AI. You get what I'm saying? If you got it. So I'm off my phone call. I bought the girls back in the house. I'm, I'm man, I can't wait to see what's going on with her. So listen, I'm going to let you guys know right now. Happy girl. I know you're trying to make it comfortable for you. Come on, man. She said, I don't want it like that. I want it the way I had it. But today's video is going to be long. I'm leaving right now. It's going to be 30, 40 minutes long. I got to take these. I want to take these girls outside. And I want to bathe these two girls, clip their nails. 
the outside dog. I'm going to base them. I got a lot going, you guys. So let me go ahead and get this video started. Get started. I got a lot to do. So let me get everything settled out there first. And I'll come back to y'all. Hold on, y'all. All right, you guys. So I just picked up all the poop from right here. Haven't did it in a few days. Um, let me go on up front. Start filling up these dogs. I got to start filling up their pools. Had to pick up all the poop. So, got to start filling up their pool and stuff. Once I get their food, once I start filling up their pool, I'm going to go ahead and let them in. Let me get that started. I just want to check the camera, y'all. Give me a few minutes. Hold on, y'all. I just gotta, I'm gonna fill it up about halfway. Then I'm setting it back here. But I gotta go clean the kennels and I gotta cut toenails and I gotta bathe dogs off. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let them play for a little while. Um, I'll probably let them play for like two hours. Let them play for, look at that girl. Let them play for like two hours. Then when I bring them back inside, is when I'll go ahead and um, cut their toenails, bathe them off. So I'm gonna bathe off, cause you guys know I, bathe, I do a lot of stuff off camera that you guys don't see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna base off. I'm gonna base off Doja Cat. I'm gonna base off Abigail. I'm gonna base off Hennessy. I'm gonna base off Draco. I'm gonna base Rosa Park. Um, I'm gonna base Kiki. I'm gonna do a lot of them. I'm gonna do a lot. Of, I, I, I'm gonna do a lot of dogs, man. I, and I'm not gonna try to. I know you, some people like the long videos, but I'm gonna try to like keep it as. I'm gonna record, I don't care. If you don't like it, don't watch it. If you like it, watch it. I don't care. Y'all see the sun? How out here, man, we in Florida. Florida don't be playing, man. All right, let me start getting these dogs, y'all. Give me a second, I'll be right back. Y'all see who we got outside. We got that girl right though. That girl right though. That girl right though. That girl over there. That girl right though. That boy over there. Come here. Yeah, that's all, that's all, that's all. Y'all stop. Y'all stop. Come on. Let's do it, man. Let's go. Frank, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna do that. 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 Come on. Y'all come on, get in here. Come on, y'all come on. Let's do it. Come on. Cool down, man. How about you? It's almost summertime. Come here, Hennessy. Come here, Hennessy. It's almost hot out here. It's, I mean, it's almost summertime. Cool down a little bit, girl. There you go. There you go. What are you doing? Let's go. 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 Come here, Rosie. What are y'all doing? Come here. Let go see up on that, Draco. What's up on that, Draco? Come here, come here. Come here, Rosie. Where you going? Jacob, what's up under that sign? Something out of here, buddy. What's under there? What's under there, Draco? Hey! What's under there, boy? What's under there? When I turn the camera, I gotta see what's up under there. Cause it's all up under there. Y'all see that? He's eager. I don't know. But you guys know why? Why I live in? There's a lot of rabbits. There's a lot of wild rabbits. So um, it might it might possibly be a rabbit up under there. I'm not for sure. But there's a lot of rabbits in this area where I live in. Actually, rabbits. So 
Um, I got them out here. So what I'm about to do right now, you guys, this is the game plan, just to keep you guys informed. So I'm gonna go clean the kennels real quick for the second time today. Um, then I'm going to bring Doja Cat outside, base her off, bring uh, Abigail outside, base her off. Um, I'm gonna catch y'all when we get the garage. Y'all follow me to the garage, let's go. See the kennel family, I'm back. I'm about to start basing off these girls. I'm gonna start with uh, Abigail, that's what I'm gonna start with. Um, let me give you guys a little knowledge that a lot of breeders, a lot of million dollar breeders won't give y'all. Y'all, something very important. The key to being the bully breed. I'm finna really give it to y'all. And you guys know me. I only been breeding for two years, so I'm not an expertise breeder. I'm not, I don't know everything. Like I always tell y'all, I figured it out. Uh, and this and this is the reason why I didn't sell Rosa Parks when I got offered 14,000 for it. This is, the, this is the main reason why I didn't sell it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. So. What I realized is, see, this is why I had the game mixed up. I had the game mixed up because I was thinking these dudes was getting these 30K, 30K dogs by breeding a good-looking male to a good-looking female. But it's way deeper than that, bro. Come, come on in, y'all. Come on, come on, come on, come on in. So like I was saying, y'all, it's way deeper than that. It's way deeper than having a good-looking female and bring her to a good-looking male. And that's what I wasn't seeing. I wasn't understanding that concept. Um, being a bully breeder, I wasn't, I wasn't understanding that. That's why I was getting, I was getting nice dogs. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't produce a nice dog. I will say that. I was definitely producing nice dogs, but I wouldn't say I was producing dogs that was 50, 20, 30 dollars dogs. But the way these breeders really doing that and producing dogs that cost that much money, the secret is this. They're breeding by pedigrees. Not by looks. Tell me what you mean by that, bro. What you mean by that breeding my looks? What they breed my pedigrees and not looks? I'm gonna give y'all a second to think. Put this pen in, and I'm gonna give y'all a second to think about it. Give me a second. Let y'all think about this for a little bit. Give y'all an example what I mean by that. Okay, cool. Let's take Rosa Parks for example. I can go breed Rosa Parks to a nice stud. Let's say, let's just say, good example, a stud I'm using the pen. Let's say Stewie Griffin. He's a nice looking male. She's a nice looking female. And then it's gonna listen, it's bro, make sure y'all pictures because it's gonna make sense. God, the people be like, dang, how you get two good looking dogs produce trash puppies? Or how you get, you know, some trash looking dogs produce nice puppies? Pedigrees, bro. That's how they doing it, bro. That's the key. Pedigrees. I'm gonna tell you why. So you guys know I bred GG the cough drop. Cough drop is a Don Juan son. Don Juan is a big son. Cool. So follow me, you guys. So Juice and Cough Drop are stepbrothers. I mean my stepbrothers, stepbrothers the same, they got the same dad, different moms. Check this out. I guess I know you guys gonna be like, oh, it's just they call the consider brothers and it don't matter. They, they, they brothers, step brothers, whatever you want to call them. It don't matter. They got the same fathers, different moms. All right, cool. So we know Rosa Parks is a, is a, is a cough drop daughter. So Juice and cough drop brothers. So now check this out. If I breed her back to Juice, I'll be lying breeding. Lying breeding. Meaning not breeding her back to her dad, but Juice got the same dad as him. So. One of the pedigrees is gonna, gonna be gonna be two times the pedigree, and the other one won't because they don't have the same mom. Or I can inbreed, which is breeding her back to cough drop, which is her dad. And that'd be three times a pedigree. Just to get you that. I know some people be like, what is three times, two times, four times? That's what it means. Now if you look at any mean out of breeder, I ain't even say big breeder. Any mean out of breeder, and you look at their dogs, look at their pedigrees, they got they do a lot of inbreeding. You'll see their pedigree to their pedigree. You'll see their male to their female, their male to their female, their male to their female. It's a lot of inbreeding. That's how they're getting these crazy dogs. Um, there are different ways to go about it. You can do line breeding, inbreeding, but I'm telling you, the more I breed, the more I understand, the more research I do, I understand a lot better. And that's why I didn't even take the 14,000 when he offered it to you know, to me for what you call it. Because listen, 
I was going about it the wrong way, bro. I'm taking my, my bad females and bringing them with these males. When all I really have to do is take my females, bring them to a male, take that take that female, that male from that litter, and inbreed it or line breed it to, to, to get the blood stronger. Bro, I'm, bro, I'm telling you, think about it. That's why I will not sell Rosa Parks. I'm going to either breed her back to juice, which is line breeding, or breed her back to cough drop, which is going to be, uh, that'll be, that'll make it three times the pedigree of, of cough drop. If I breed the juice, it'll be two times the pedigree. And that means, yeah, think about it. So, Rosa Parks is a bad looking dog. So just imagine if I breed her back to her father or back to her, 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 her uncle. That's going to make that bloodline stronger and make that look even more crazy. Don't think I'm saying more exotic. Don't, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. It's going to tighten up on the blood and make it shorter, more compact. That's how they, that, to be real with y'all, bro, that's how they get these small dogs. They're not, I mean, they're breeding them to Mike, they're breeding them to breeding Mike O's the Frenchies. They're doing all this stuff too. But they also, once they do that breeding, they're inbreeding. They're going to breed the daughter to the, to the dad. The dad to the to the to the, the I said that same thing. The dad to the daughter, the, 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 the son to the mom. To get that look even tighten up more. That's what I'm realizing now, and that's the reason why I'm I'm not. That's the reason why I'm using. I'm going to use a few more outside studs, and after I use these full outside studs, like with Doja Cat and with um, Lala, then I'm going to embryo. I'm going to embryo this thing up. Meaning, when I get a son from Lala. Um, and, and, and that, I'm gonna breed it back to, I'm gonna breed her son back to her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna breed Juice, um, Rosa Parks back to Juice on Cough Drop. And, you know, I'm gonna breed, it's an inbreeding, bro. Hey, how many guys? Inbreeding is the key. Line breeding is the key to get a more firm and more consistent look. You can breed a bad female to a bad male and get trash. Trust me, bro. I know you can. I always remember that. That's the key. None of the other breeders gonna give y'all. Let me tell you why. Cause some don't want to give y'all the sauce, and some honestly don't know. Honestly, to be real with y'all, but I figured it out, and that's why I be telling y'all last the videos. I'm excited because I'm close to my dream because I know how to do it now. I know how to do it the correct way. All right, but let's start this. Uh, let's start this real quick. I got uh, uh, just give me a second. I'm gonna get dog. Let me go ahead and get dog. Give me a second, y'all. Mantel Oatmeal, my key recipes. What's up, Emma? See? Oh yeah, I ain't, you know what? I ain't get this. I ain't get this yet. I ain't get this yet. I ain't get this yet. I ain't get that yet. Don't be too scared. Let me laugh, girl. Wanna do all the part? Let's see what's up. Let's see who the woman of the yard. Let's see. Let's see who the real woman of the yard. We gonna see right now. We gonna see right now. What's up, Hannah? See what you gonna do? What you trying to do? Abigail, you gonna help? You want oh, so you wanna bark at everybody else? But you ain't doing anything like that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Tell her you the you the you the HBIC in the camp. Let me see. Cause Abigail, you didn't do nothing. She sniffed all on you, and you didn't even do that. All right, Abigail. Say so you better tie up. I got the baby girl, man. She shit and bad. And I say, oh no. She shit and bad, man. You can you grab my brush real quick? I'm gonna brush up here. I got a little brush up here, okay? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. 
Got to get the brush, man. Got to got to make sure the dog's good. Come here, girl. Where you going? Come here, girl. Hey, hey, can y'all believe they say, oh, how you get a dog from the pound of paperwork? I just think that is so funny. How you got Abigail from the pound with no paperwork? That's how you know some people don't watch the videos for real. They say, how do you get Abigail from the pound and you sell her puppies with no paperwork? People don't got no life. They don't got nothing else better to do. They don't even support you for real. They don't even watch all your videos for real. They see one or two videos and swear they know your lifestyle, and they know you're a scammer, and they know you're fake, and they know you're not real, but they only watch, they only watch five videos. But I tell you what, boy. I tell you what, boy. How you even bought Abigail from the pound and got paper on her? How you got paper on her and she came from the pound? What? What do y'all? What? Bro, if you go back and watch the video, I said she was getting shipped from Texas and the shipper got arrested and my dog went to the pile. That's what happened. But you know, we're not worried about it. I ain't even gonna trip about it. I paid good money for this girl, y'all. For real, for real. I paid. I paid. I forgot what I paid, but I paid good money. It was over five dollars. One thing I will say about breeding bullies, man, you got to learn how to breed. And one, I'm gonna tell you the only, like the major bad part about breeding dogs, about breeding bullies, about breeding micro bullies. People are not real nowadays, bro. I'm gonna tell you about that. The thing about about buying full-grown females, you got to buy from a trustworthy person because they'll tell you, oh, she can have puppies. Oh, hold up. They'll tell you, she can have puppies, and then she can't She can't even have puppies. They done sold you a dog who, who's infertile, and that's part of that. Honestly, there's nothing you can really do. Like, I mean, that's just part of the game. You just got to find somebody who's trustworthy and, you know what I'm saying, that's willing to make sure they keep it real with you. People gonna be like, well, why you buy full grown dogs knowing it's a risk? Because I buy my dogs from the same group. I don't go to different people every time. I got certain group people I buy dogs from, and every time I get a female, I go to them. Reason why they got 20 females, 25 females, 30 females, so they can spare one or two females for me, you feel me? And um, now with that, bro, we go way back. They trustworthy, you know what I'm saying? I bought from them before, so they're trustworthy. And they got 25 females. So they're not tripping on selling one, you know what I'm saying? You gonna get me the uh, them clipper or nail? Next question, y'all. I know y'all probably asked. Tommy, is there a way to prevent that? Is there a way to be able to tell if if a female is is infertile? I'm going to be honest with you. Yes, there is a way to tell. They can do a, a, a test on her to make sure she's good. But the thing about that, of course you're going to have to buy the female first. Ain't nobody going to let you just do a test on the donor dog without buying it. Come on, that's common sense. We know how that go. Like I said, it's, it's risk, bro. It's risk in general. Being the bully breed is not easy. You gotta do things like this. Get up, get dirty, clean them, feed them, clean up poop. Not easy. It's not built for the weak. Remember that. I'm telling you guys, it's not for the weak. I had to get outside. I had to get her, say she got outside to do. All right, so next up we're gonna do we're going to do 
You know what? Since you are here, let's knock out. You know what? No, 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 no. Let me go in the house. No, no, you know what? I'm not going to do the cat because she might be pregnant and I don't want to stress her out. So I'm going to let her chill. I'm going to let her chill. And I'm going to go ahead and do Hennessy Mix. Then I got to bring the dogs in. And I'm going to do a few of the other dogs and then that's it. Hennessy, let's go, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, man. Calm down. Sometimes you guys, I like to just check them and make sure that stitching is healed up. Make sure there's no, you know, no, no nothing hip, like nothing growing down there. There's no pus, no acid, abscess, anything from that surgical uh, scar. You know why? That's why y'all sometimes see me fill up under here. Just to make sure everything's all clear up under there. Make sure everything held up good. You know, make sure there's no infection. I give my dogs, uh, what you call it anyways, um, antibiotics. So, you know, we good on that. You know what? I'm gonna get her oatmeal. Have to get outside, yo! <laughs> but that's, bro, I don't care what nobody say. That's a bad dog right there, bro. I don't care what nobody say. That is a bad dog. She looks good. She looks amazing. Before y'all even ask, why is she out? Why, 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 why does she get to be inside? Because she's potty trained. She is potty trained. Full potty trained. Y'all right? Y'all right, girl? It's all good, here, see. It's all good, here, dog. Come here. Man, listen, I remember back in the day when I was living in my apartment and I had my six dogs. I used to have to bathe them. I used to have to bathe them in the tub. Dog, that was his bro. Bro, that'll make a man out of you, bro, for real. That'll really make, the ones that'll make a man out of you, man, for real. I ain't gonna even lie. It'll make a man out of you, for real. Cut, 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 you know what? You guys, I don't know if I told y'all. Uh, so I decided to I decided to get rid of this male and I'm keeping the white face. For everybody that's gonna be interested, this is the mom. This is his mom right here. That's his mom. Come on, zoom in again. That's his mom. Y'all see how small she is? How compact thick. Y'all see the structure of that neck? Look at her. Y'all see her? Quality boy, that's come, come, come on, so you can see her, man. That's the quality micro, quality micro right there, full tail. This is his mom. That's his mom right there. So he is available. That's his mom, and this is his dad. That's his dad right there. This is his dad. This male is available. Full tail, clean bite, big dome. Y'all see it? That's his dad. That right, that's his mom. Go ahead and get his mom one time. That's his mom. It's your son. That's his mom. Cool. So we know what's going on with that. That's his mom. Next level puppies, man. Don't sleep on them. I'm telling y'all. I sold Joker. I got rid of Joker to keep one of them. That should tell y'all something. But give me a second. Let me get, grab these all real quick. Go! 
Tiny, come on, Tiny. Come on here, Tiny. No, no, Tiny, you know. Keegan, look at you. What the heck she doing in my cage? Get out of my cage, man. Come on, Tiny. Uh, come on, Come on, Keegan, girl. Come on, Keegan, girl. Man, we got her. We got a nice breather for her. She's going to a. She's going to a. Chocolate try. Nice stud. I had to get home down. She's excited, you guys, because she hasn't seen. Honestly, she hasn't seen any of these dogs before. But she really didn't get it. Did you record her one time? Just look at how. Look at this girl, man. We you record her again. It is dog, man. Y'all talking about a bad female? A bad work of body? Look at this man. That's crazy. Uh -huh. Now, that's a bad female, you guys. That is a bad female. I have a little scar back here. I need some antibodies for that right there. Your nails need to be cut? Nah, they good. You guys, remember when y'all cut your dog's nails, man? Don't cut back too far, cause you will hurt. But if you look up, if you look up under them, if you look up under them, up under the nails. You can see where the skin starts at, where the meat starts at, so you don't cut their, their meat back, because they will bleed. Read this girl, man. She's a smut trap. She's smut, which for people that sway and everything, she's a smut color. Smut is a form of trap. Get in my comment. That's the base. Smut is that a is that a form of trap? Get in my comment. That's the base. And again, I know you never seen him come down. You ain't you ain't you ain't the head girl at all. Oh yeah, that's it. Come on, Jesus, Jesus. She's getting up. Come on, Jesus. I won't base her off of you guys so she can eat. She's in heat, not baby her off. Come on. I'm going to tell you guys, do not phase your dogs off while they're in heat. Do not. It throws off their cycle. Do not do that. They put some of her scar on the corner of it, y'all. Get it back, Eden. Put some of her little scar on her back real quick. Go ahead and clear this, get this cleared up. I know she got a little scar on her back. Put some antibiotic on that, clear it up. Not worried about that. We got everything we need right here over here on this handy on this right here. Everything we need on our handy dandy table right here. We don't need that, we just got that up there. And then we got a table in the house with more stuff on there. Let's do tiny next, we'll do tiny. Come on, tiny girl. Come on, tiny girl. Come on, tiny girl. Come on, girl. Tiny, you ain't tiny no more. Come on, tiny. Nail, you cut? Nah, you good. Size is well. Perfect. Be perfect. Be perfect. Yeah. Today is a, like a very man, like informative, fun day. Cleaning the base of the dogs off, dropping knowledge on y'all, giving y'all all these. Listen, I'm gonna be real with like I told y'all, man. The, the, that advice I just gave y'all about pedigrees, 
Bro, take that, bro, take that and run with it. Trust me. A lot of breeders won't tell you that. I'm telling y'all. Trust me. I had to learn on my own. A lot of breeders will not tell you that. And if you don't believe what I'm saying, you think I'm just talking, go hit up, go hit up the uh, the million dollar breeders and look at it and, and, and look at their dogs' pedigrees. Look at their studs' pedigrees. I guarantee you, their studs were inbred. I guarantee you. Their studs was lion bred. I guarantee you. Fact. King Juice. I'm going to pay his King Juice off too real quick. Come on, time that go, girl. She good. Let's get it. Get that, baby. King Juice. Come on, King Juice. Come on, son. Say, come on. Which one you want? Come here. Which one you want? Say which one you want. Come on. Which one you want? Say which one you want. Have you here? They got to get a king of my I'm going to bathe Draco too real quick, y'all. And then that's the end of the video. I don't want to make the videos too, too, too long. How long is it? Is that yet? Almost up. 45? All right, bitch. I'm going to bathe Draco. What's up, King? This is the daddy of pumps, man. Juice son with a full tip. Abigail, calm down, baby. Let me hear it, Juice. Just so y'all know, juice is juice is double registered. Juice is double registered. He's registered UKC and he's registered ABR. It don't really matter because he's close to the public anyway. So if you want juice, if you want juice DNA, you gonna have to go through his son. Or his son become of age. Come on, juice. Love this boy right here. What? That boy made CB Chum. You know what I'm That boy made CB Chum. That boy. Let me get last, last time, let me get Draco real quick, and then we're going to end the video. Yo, just take a look at Bell. Let's call
More presses. Presses, come on. Oh my God, you're gonna have to put your, look at it, get me on the camera. Oh my God, you're gonna have to put your Frenchie down. Oh, and, and she's gonna die. Hey, y'all be funny as hell on YouTube. Oh my gosh, put her down. She, it's so horrible. Uh, she will walk in, I promise you. She will never walk again. Oh God. Hey, calm down, girl. Stop, big O. Come here, guy. Come here, look. Big sir. How come he didn't get a front, a top view of this boy, Nick? Can we get a top view of this boy, Nick? Can we get a top view of this boy, Nick, please? That boy, you thick, boy. Hey, hold up. I ain't trying to be petty, y'all. I swear I'm not trying to be petty. But somebody said in my comments, you didn't, hey, stop. Come on, press you know. You didn't produce Draco, you bought Draco. Comment down below, y'all. If you, if you, if you, if you, if, if y'all been following me for a while, did I produce Draco or did I buy Draco? One more time, did I produce Draco or did I buy Draco? I could have sworn, I, 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 maybe, I, maybe I'm just tripping, but I could have sworn Buttercup, which if you don't know who Buttercup is, if you go look at my first two videos I made, which was the first, Buttercup was his mom. I could have sworn it, but I guess not. And Buttercup is the mama to those puppies. Um, my first video, that got 1.1 million views on it. If you go look at that video, Buttercup was that mom. That fun look mom, she the same color. She's making me look bad. I just said she was the poppy train. And look what happened. You're making me look bad, yeah? You're making me look bad. You're making me look bad. But I tell you what, bro. But um, Buttercup was the mom in my first video. If you don't know what I'm talking about? Please go back and watch the first, first video I've ever made on YouTube. It got like 1.1 million views on it. That mom, of those of those uh, fun puppies, that's Draco's mom. She had two litters. She had Draco litter and she had the litter that was in there. Them fun puppies. Come on, Draco. Come on, Draco. Get up, Draco. Press, where you at, baby? Oh my gosh, she'll never walk her again. Of course, she still got a little problem, like, but it's definitely getting better. Last but not least, Rosa Parks. Last but not least, but I'm not gonna get to on camera. I'm gonna go spend one one time Rosa Parks. I'm gonna get this on camera. Oh, Rosa Parks gone. Run away, dog! 
Hey, you know what? Let me not say that. Y'all ain't gonna say that. That's funny. Don't worry about it. I'm not gonna say that. Um, <laughs> I just thought of something funny in my head. But um, um, that's the video. Y'all make sure y'all go follow my Instagram. Go watch my last video, please. I appreciate it. Thumbs up. Y'all comment down below. Fruit, fruit. Comment down below on everything I asked y'all. Um, we going as a family, man. We out of here. Had a long video for today. I love y'all. We out.